Hi everyone, this is Cassie and these are the weekly tarot horoscopes for the week of uh, April the 22nd to April 28th. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel and you like the way I uh, read the cards, you can subscribe to my channel and like this video so that these videos reach a larger audience. If you want to check out last week's predictions, you can find them in the link up right. If you want to find me for a personal and detailed tarot reading, you can uh, reach me on my uh, psychic platform www.kashikai.com. The readings are performed in live chat, like in Facebook Messenger, for example. But if you prefer an email reading, you can find two email reading options in my uh, eShop, one for two questions and another for four questions. Also, other uh, tarot readings that are very big and extensive and detailed to be performed in a live chat and two of them are at 70% discount at the moment. Also you can find a lot of free content if you are reading uh, the cards yourself, two card combinations, articles on tarot and much more. But let's get on with the predictions of next week. For Aries, we had the Six of Pentacles and now the Nine of Cups. Last week, giving and receiving were emphasized as the Six of Pentacles highlights the importance of generosity support, indicating that you were either on the giving or receiving end of help. That could have manifested in financial aid, advice or emotional support. The upcoming week will be a week of satisfaction, fulfillment and the achievement of personal desires. The Nine of Cups is often referred to as the Wish card, suggesting a week when your hopes and dreams begin to materialize and that will bring a sense of happiness, of well-being. So this week you will be enjoying the fruits of your labor, experiencing joy, gratitude and happiness um, from things that are coming to fruition. In your career, the Nine of Cups shows a week when a goal is achieved, your efforts are recognized and rewarded, and you will get more satisfaction and possibly a promotion or other forms of professional acknowledgement. This will be a week when things go well at work and something you want will materialize. Now, if you want to know how someone feels, this person feels very happy and very connected to you. You will see that your emotional investments are paying off this week. Whether you are single or in a relationship, this will be a week of positive vibes and the realization of a romantic wish. Thursday is a day that may bring a personal victory, positive moments that you will experience within a relationship, or you will simply take a moment to appreciate the good things in your life. This is a good time to enjoy the rewards of your generosity last week and to celebrate the personal and emotional satisfaction that comes from seeing a wish come true. For Taurus, we had the Knight of Wands and now the Page of Pentacles. Last week was like watching a wild ride with the Knight of Wands, bringing a burst of energetic, adventurous vibes your way. And uh, think of it as a week where everything seemed to move at double speed, full of action and maybe a bit of impulsive decision making. This energy was all about seizing the moment, possibly leading you to jump into new projects or uh, new adventures without much hesitation. Now the Page of Pentacles, which is like hitting the refresh button, especially after the intense energy of the week, will signal a time of new beginnings in a more grounded and practical sense. So you might find yourself starting to learn something new or uh, kicking off a project that requires a bit of focus and dedication. It's about planting seeds for the future taking careful steps to build something that will last. Now, in your career, after the go get them energy of the Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles brings a more measured pace to your work life. This week, you're likely to start laying the groundwork for long-term success. It could be taking up a new course to enhance your skills or starting a project that's more about strategic gains than quick wins. It's all about growth and about learning. If you want to know how someone feels, it shows that someone's feelings are developing in a sweet but some, somewhat uh, tentative way. 
If you got your eye on someone or they are eyeing you, expect a more thoughtful and maybe even a bit shy approach to how they show their interest. This card is about grand gestures, but more about genuine budding feelings that want to explore uh, where things might lead with uh, a curiosity, a sincere curiosity. The early part of the week is perfect for focusing on educational endeavors, financial planning, or laying down the stepping stones for future. It's a great time to really dial into the details of whatever you're working on, ensuring that the foundation you are building is solid and ready for the growth that's to come. For Gemini, we had the Two of Wands and now the Six of Pentacles. Last week was all about standing at the crossroads with the Two of Wands. You were probably feeling the vibes of planning and decision making, like you're mapping out your next big moves. It was probably a week of setting goals, looking into the future, pondering over what you want to head next, where you want to head next, both in your personal or your professional life. Um, moving into this week, you're shifting gears with the Six of Pentacles. This card is all about give and take, focusing on generosity, fairness, uh, sharing, whether it's time, knowledge, financial support. This week is about balancing what you give and what you receive. It's a practical and down-to-earth kind of week where you might find yourself helping others out or maybe deceiving, receiving a bit of help yourself. In your career, after last week's uh, big picture planning with the Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles brings you a chance to put some of that goodwill into action. You might be involved in collaborative projects at work or find opportunities to mentor others. You will be very generous with your expertise, with your time, and you will seek balance in your professional endeavors, in your professional relationships. In love, the Six of Pentacles suggests a harmonious give and take, and that will define your relationships this week. If you're wondering how someone feels, this card points towards a caring, sharing vibe where they might be looking to create a balanced and supportive connection with you. It's about nurturing the relationship by ensuring that both sides feel valued and equally invested. Mark your calendar for Monday and Saturday, as these days look especially significant this week. For Cancer, we had the Fool and the King of Swords this week. Last week uh, probably felt like you were stepping off the edge with a blindfold on, in the best way possible. This card is about new beginnings, embracing the unknown and having the courage to take a leap of faith. Whether you are starting a new project, jumping into a new relationship or just trying something totally out of your comfort zone, the Fool is about believing in the journey and trusting that the net will appear. This week with the King of Swords is like going from heart-led decisions to head-led decisions. The King of Swords is about clear thinking, control, making decisions with a sharp mind. This card suggests you will be in a mode where cutting through confusion and getting to the truth will be your main focus. Expect to feel more analytical, perhaps a bit detached emotionally, as you deal with the complexities around you with logic and precision. In your career, after the free-spirited energy of the Fool, the King of Swords brings a disciplined approach to your work. You might find yourself needing to make some tough decisions or communicate more directly and effectively. This week is great for tackling tasks that require a clear head. It's also an excellent time for leadership where your ability to guide others with clarity and authority can really shine. In love, the King of Swords might cool things down a little bit, focusing more on clear communication, uh, talks, whether um, uh, rather than emotional depths. If you are wondering how someone feels, they might be showing a more thoughtful, perhaps strategic side of their affection. This isn't about grand emotional gestures, but uh, more about showing love through thoughtful discussions and uh, showing clear intentions. Keep an eye on Tuesday, which stands out as particularly potent, and an air sign individual, sign or ascendant, could be a key player this week. 
For Leo, we had the justice and now the Ace of Cups. Last week was all about justice, bringing a sense of balance, fairness, and maybe even a bit of karma into your life. This card is all about getting what you deserve, for better or worse, and making sure that all things are equal and fair, whether it was settling disputes, making important decisions with a clear sense of right and wrong, or dealing with legal matters for some of you, the justice was about restoring equilibrium and ensuring that truth prevails. This week is like opening your heart to new beginnings in love, in relationships, or even creative projects. The Ace of Cups is about renewal and joy of feeling your emotions flow freely. This card suggests a time of uh, new experiences that are enriching and heart-opening. It's an opportunity to start fresh, whether in forming new relationships or deepening existing ones. In your career, after a week of uh, ethical decision-making and balancing the scales with the justice, the Ace of Cups introduces a softer, more intuitive approach. This might be a great week to start new projects that require creativity. It's an excellent time to connect with colleagues on a deeper level, or to engage in work that truly fulfills you emotionally. If you want to know how someone feels, the Ace of Cups shows attraction and also the development of emotions, but in the early stages. The Ace of Cups often shows the beginning of a new relationship phase that feels both refreshing and um, more emotional. If you are single, this could be the start of a promising new romance. If you are already in a relationship, the Ace of Cups can signify a renewal of love. The start of the week, from Monday to Wednesday, is perfect for new beginnings, new relationships, or to express your feelings openly. For Virgo, it was the Six of Cups and now the Nine of Swords. Last week likely brought a nostalgic vibe into your life, because the Six of Cups is all about memories, childhood experiences, reconnecting with someone from your past. It's generally a tender time that emphasizes comfort, familiarity, the simpler joys in life, and reminds you of good old days, whether it was catching up with an old friend, remembering the past, or experiencing moments that felt particularly heartwarming, the Six of Cups is about the sweetness of coming home to familiar emotional landscapes. This week, however, the tone shifts quite dramatically with the Nine of Swords. This card suggests a phase of anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. It represents a phase where your mind might be overwhelmed by fears, doubts, or stressful thoughts. The Nine of Swords is about the kind of men mental burden that keeps you up at night, perhaps worrying about things that are out of your control, or things that will never happen, or dealing with issues that have sur surfaced from your subconscious. It's a tough energy that calls for addressing these anxieties directly, seeking support, or finding ways to manage stress more effectively. In your career, the Nine of Swords might bring up work-related stresses or anxieties. This could involve deadlines or challenging projects or concerns about your professional path that require attention. It's important during this time to manage your stress levels and not let worries override your ability to perform or cloud your decision-making. Now, if you want to know how someone feels, there seem to be underlying issues or anxieties that are affecting how they feel about your relationship. This card can indicate stress or worries that impact your emotional connection, perhaps bringing to light fears or insecurities that need to be addressed for your relationship to thrive. Tuesday stand, uh, stands out as particularly significant for you when issues, especially those buried or ignored, might demand your, demand your attention. Between June the 1st and the, second, and the 10th, watch for a significant event or realization that could catalyze the emotions and anxieties that are shown by the Nine of Swords. For Libra, we had the King of Pentacles and now the Page of Cups. Last week was like sitting in the executive chair with the Knight of Pentacles. Think of it as a period where stability, success and practicality were at the forefront, as this card is all about mastery over the material world. 
So you were probably feeling quite in control last week, whether managing finances, overseeing projects, or just ensuring that everything at work and at home was running smoothly. The King of Pentacles is all about the long game, making wise decisions that secure your future. Uh, Though this week the Page of Cups is like opening a door to a more emotional or intuitive phase. This card signals a time of new beginnings and creative inspiration. You might find yourself feeling more in touch with your artistic side or experiencing an emotional renewal that brings a a breath of fresh air. The Page of Cups is about uh, letting your heart lead the way, exploring new feelings, new opportunities, and possibly receiving messages that will make you feel really good. In your career, after last week's focus on practical achievements and financial stability, the Page of Cups brings a softer touch to your work life. This week, you might find opportunities to engage in more creative tasks or projects that require an emotional or artistic approach. It's a great time for brainstorming or working on assignments that benefit from a fresh perspective. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel a deeper emotional connection to you. If you are single, be open to the possibilities of a new romantic encounter that touches your heart in unexpected ways. The Page of Cups brings a gentle and dreamy quality to your interactions, to your relationships, and that's a perfect time for heartfelt conversations, romantic gestures, but make sure that you are grounded in reality. The early part of the week, from Monday to Wednesday, is ideal for expressing your feelings. For Scorpio, we had the Chariot, and now this week it's the Knight of Pentacles. Last week might have felt like you were in full throttle with the Chariot. This card is all about conquest, determination, uh, driving forward with uh, willpower and ambition. It was the kind of week where you might have found yourself pushing hard towards a goal, or overcoming obstacles, or maintaining control over the competing forces in your life. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, which is all about diligence, responsibility, methodical progress, it brings a different energy because uh, it uh, slows things down to a more sustainable pace. This card is about taking careful, considered steps and focusing on the practical aspects of achieving your goals. It's a time for hard work and reliability. In your career, the shift from the chariot's rapid advancement to the Knight of Pentacles' methodical approach can be quite beneficial in your work. This week, you are likely to find yourself focusing on the finer details of your projects, perhaps perfecting what you've rapidly advanced previously. It's a great time for planning long-term investments, refining strategies, or patiently working through complex tasks that require a steady hand. If you want to know how they feel about you, they have a steady and loyal approach to your relationship. Their feelings are growing, albeit slowly. If you are single, this might mean taking your time to get to know someone new. Or if you are in a relationship, focusing on building security and demonstrating your dependability. This card is not about quick flings, it's about lasting bonds built on trust and practical support. The latter part of the week, particularly from Friday to Sunday, is ideal for tackling tasks that require endurance and attention. An earth sign individual or ascendant could play a significant role during this time, bringing stability, reliability, and perhaps a critical eye that will help you fine-tune your plans and actions. For Sagittarius, we had the Two of Pentacles and now the Moon. Last week was all about juggling with the Two of Pentacles. Picture yourself as a circus performer, expertly keeping those balls in the air, balancing work, home, finances, maybe even a couple of social engagements all at once. It was a week that likely had you on your toes, managing your time and resources with a bit of flair and a lot of flexibility. The Two of Pentacles is all about adapting to fluctuations and making sure you stay afloat amidst ever-changing tides of daily life. 
Moving into this week, you are heading into deeper, more mysterious waters with the moon. This card brings a shift towards introspection, intuition, and uncovering hidden truths. The moon is about the emotional and subconscious realms, and often brings dreams, illusions, sometimes confusion. It's a time when things might not be as they seem, so trust your instincts and try to navigate through the fog with your internal compass. In your career, after last, last week's dynamic balancing act, the moon may bring a sense of uncertainty or ambiguity. This could involve dealing with unclear information, hidden factors, or intuitive decisions. It's a good time to pay attention to the undercurrents in your workplace and to rely more on your intuition when making decisions. If you want to know how someone feels, it appears that their feelings are deep but also complex, perplexing. This card can show that feelings are under the surface, not fully expressed or not fully understood, and that might involve secrets or unspoken energies. Be aware of potential misunderstandings or misconceptions. It's important to seek clarity and honesty in your interactions, as the moon can sometimes cast shadows of doubt or illusion. Monday and Saturday stand out as particularly significant for you, and they are likely to emphasize the mystical and introspective qualities of the moon. For Capricorn, we had the hanged man, and now it's the fool. Last week might have felt like you were suspended in mid-air. This card is all about pause, reflection, seeing things from a new perspective, even if that means feeling a bit stuck for a while. It's a contemplative time where you were encouraged to let go of your usual pace and maybe even sacrifice some immediate goals for deeper understanding or long-term gains. The hanged man asks for patience and suggests that sometimes stepping back or turning things upside down is the best way to move forward. Now the fool, which is all about new beginnings, fresh starts and a bit of adventurous spirit, will uh, bring a sense of renewal and excitement about the unknown. It's about the embracing the journey, no matter how unpredictable, with a mon uh, an open heart and an open mind. The fool is fearless and free, ready to leap into new experiences without worrying too much about where the road might lead. In your career, after a week of reflection and maybe reevaluating your path with, your, with the hanged man, the fool invites you to jump into new projects or opportunities with enthusiasm. This could be an ideal time to initiate a project that's been on your mind or to take a risk that feels aligned with your true passions. The fool's energy is perfect for innovation and embracing the unconventional in your work. Now, uh, if you want to, to know how someone feels, the fool shows that they have a carefree and perhaps slightly impulsive approach to your relationship. They may want to inject more spontaneity and fun into your partnership. Now, uh, whether you are on the same page or not, that's something to be examined this week, because if you are looking for something serious or solid, they may not be ready for that. If you are single, it, may be a it might be a time to explore a new relationship without too much overthinking and without uh, dragging too many expectations too soon. Monday and Tuesday are perfect for making a bold decision, starting something new, or simply embracing the day with a zest for life. An Aquarius might play a significant role during this week, perhaps inspire you, inspiring you or bringing a fresh perspective that encourages you to embrace the fool's leap of faith. For Aquarius, we had the world and now it's the Eight of Pentacles. Last week was all about completion and maybe celebration with the world's energy surrounding you. Because this card signifies reaching a significant milestone, wrapping up a major phase or seeing the fruition of your efforts. It's like the victory lap after a long journey, where you get uh, to enjoy the success and acknowledgement of your hard work. The world is about feeling connected and accomplished knowing that you have achieved something important. The Eight of Pentacles is about dedication, attention to detail, and craftsmanship. After the grand conclusion and maybe celebration of the world, 
The Eight of Pentacles brings you back to the workbench, so to speak, to hone your skills, to improve your craft and pay attention to the finer points of your projects. This will be a week of diligent work, not just professionally, but also in your personal life, perfect for focusing on self-improvement and mastering your trade. In your career, the transition from uh, the world's success to the Eight of Pentacles' fo detailed focus is ideal for you. This week, you might find yourself deeply engrossed in a particular project or task that requires precision and meticulous effort. It's an excellent time to pursue further training, engage in detailed work, or simply put in the extra effort to ensure quality and efficiency. In terms of your uh, romantic feelings, if you want to know how someone feels, it shows that uh, they have a practical and methodical approach to your relationship. If you're in a relationship, this could mean a time to work on specific aspects of your partnership, like sharing uh, responsibilities, sharing time, practical uh, plans. For those who are single, it's about investing time in yourself, to improve your chances to meet someone who's on the same wavelength and they want the same things that you want. Tuesday and Sunday seem to be the strong days of this week. For Pisces, we had the Ten of Wands and now it's the Emperor. Last week, you must have felt like you were carrying the, the weight of the world on your shoulders. This card is about feeling overburdened, maybe even overwhelmed, by too many responsibilities or too many commitments piling up at once. It's like you're nearing the end of a long journey, but your strength is tested but you're still pushing forward to reach your destination. The Ten of Wands challenges you to consider your limits and possibly rethink how you are managing your load before it wears you down. The Emperor brings a sense of order, authority and structure to your life. After a week of struggle and heavy lifting, so to speak, the Emperor encourages you to take control, to set boundaries and establish rules that help maintain balance and efficiency. It's about embodying your leadership qualities, making decisions from a place of power and stability and perhaps guiding others with a newfound clarity and resolve. In your career, transitioning from the exhaustive energy of the Ten of Wands to the assertive and organized approach of the Emperor is a significant shift in your work life. This week is ideal for, ideal for taking charge of projects, leading teams, or simply getting your workspace and tasks in order. The Empress's uh, influence helps you apply discipline and structure to your endeavors, ensuring that you are not just busy, but also effective and productive. If you want to know how someone feels, the Emperor shows they are seeking more certainty and more commitment, but um, they want things to be on their terms. If that's the case, you may need to clarify the dynamics of your relationship this week. If you are feeling like taking the lead or setting clear expectations and boundaries, this is a good week to do it, as the Emperor supports establishing a firm foundation in love. Tuesday is particularly strong for you. Use this day to focus on establishing order, setting goals, and perhaps dealing with an authority figure or institutional matters. An Aries individual, an Aries sun or ascendant, might play a significant role in this week's dynamics, perhaps embodying the characteristics of the emperor. So these were the tarot horoscopes for the week of uh, April the 22nd to April the 28th for all signs. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you again next week. Have a great week.